the uh, pin your video here. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. So this is the Bead Foundation. It's April 26, 2020. Um, and can you say who you are, where you're from, and what you're working on, please? You are the star of the show for a moment. Oh, sure. My name's Danae. You were saying it right. Thanks okay. very much for trying. <laughs> uh, I'm from Yay. I'm from Winnipeg, Canada. Hello to the other Canadian out here. I can't remember who said they're from Medicine Hat. Me. Yeah. Oh, I see it here. <laughs> <laughs> just down the road. Yeah. So I'm from Winnipeg, which is just north of um, North Dakota and Minnesota, mm -hmm. and um, beating at my kitchen table with many little piles of beads all around me. I feel like we all have little piles of beads in it. It makes us very happy right now. So really <laughs> very happy. happy. <laughs> I'm in my, D Justine calls it my bead lair, but it, it's my studio and it's wall to wall, wall to ceiling beads. And I'm happiest Ooh. here. <laughs> I do, I do have my crafting room downstairs with my uh, sewing machine and all my fabric and stacks of beads, but uh, the light is so beautiful up here in my dining room that I just, in the middle of the afternoon, I can't really, uh, I can't really deny it. So just happy to be upstairs in the sunshine. <laughs> I understand. Can I you show the us the, the piece you're working on again? Me? Yes. Sure. Sure. I guess this is my, this is my right foot. I'm just starting the center of my flower, which will be right on the top of the foot. So I, I do my designs on pellin. These are dancing moccasins. Um, and uh, this is a friction pen. So once I iron on my lining, uh, all the pen marks will be gone. So and there's what, once you iron on your lining, the pen marks will be gone. Yeah, it's a friction pen. So um, quilters and sewers will be really familiar with them, but uh, friction pens, um, I could even erase it with the heat of my hand. The heat will get rid of these pen marks. So it, it looks like there's a little pink pen mark on here, but those will all be yeah. gone once, uh, once I iron it. Beautiful. Now you say dancing moccasins. Are, is that different than, I mean, Hi, baby. you're only going to be using those for dancing, correct? Well, yeah, I wouldn't call them um, like traditional uh, buckskin moccasins. Um, I do have a pair of those as well. That would be a different style, like a woodland style with a, with a vamp or anything like that. So this is all made of pellin, which is very, very durable. Um, basically, if they get wet, because they will get wet, um, they'll, they'll stay together and um, hopefully last a lot, lot longer. Um, <gasps> that's so pellin. Not, it's certainly a not, it's a modern material for sure. Oh, you're, you're making your entire pair? moccasin out of pellon? Well, this part will be, this is all pellon, yeah, right here. And then once I'm done all the beading, I will um, iron on uh, a cotton lining onto the side and then uh -huh. cut them out uh, and then cut it out and do my edging. Um, and so there won't be any buckskin in this part. I will do a leather sole. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. I was oh, say, I have never heard dry? of that. Everything I've ever seen has all been done on leather, beading mm -hmm. directly on the leather. So this is like, innovative <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's, um i have i have leather and i certainly could get a couple pairs from the basement to show you um what happens when they get wet <laughs> and oh. um, and when your soul if the if the soul then gets wet and there's a hole or anything like that yeah. on them you can just cut off the soul and replace the soul where all your bead work will still be there and oh. interesting in good condition yeah, yeah. you could even yeah. replace the lining in theory, if your lining um, ever got wet and got destroyed or dirty or anything like that, but uh, wow. yeah, it's it's a bit more durable. Um, yeah, but I, I wouldn't call them like a traditional buckskin style. But they're modeled under the same pattern mm -hmm. that you can make it if you wanted to make them out of leather. Mm -hmm. and, and for our viewers, or uh, you did mention uh, the word vamp. For our viewers who are not familiar with that, can you explain? Sure. Yeah, there's different di different styles of moccasins. Um, I probably could grab a pair. It might be easier. Um, other ones will have the beadwork in um, where everything is leather and there'll be a, like an almost oval piece right at the top of your foot. And that's the vamp. So that would be the only part that's beaded. And sometimes they have beaded cuffs 
um, where this is like a fully beaded, everything on here will be beaded by the time I'm done. Beautiful. Yeah. Thank you so much. What a lovely presentation. Thank oh, you. Oh, thank you. Again,